Well, got rid of the flower load uh, that delayed me so much in Plainview, Texas. Now I've got lawnmowers. That and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, well, uh, I don't have any road video or any ass wagons or anything uh, to show you today. Kind of amazing, I know. Uh, but, you know, I had that load of flour I picked up in Plainview, Texas. They delayed me 10 hours. I drove through the night. You saw that video where I par was parked in Ozark, Arkans Arkansas, uh, the next morning. And then um, drove on through on Thursday uh, to the delivery, which I thought was going to be 7 p.m. Uh, another thing the broker lied about. I get to the uh, grocery warehouse as a save-a-lot in Humboldt, Tennessee. And uh, I go try to check in. There's nobody at the window. There's just a guard there. And I said, yeah, I've got a delivery. I, he said, when's your appointment? I said, well, 7 p.m. He said, yeah, try again. I said, well, that's what's on my stuff. He looks it up. Oh, no, it's 10 p.m. That's when we start. Really? Really? I got there very early. I got there at 3.45 p.m. Luckily, they had an area for me to park. So I parked over there, took Rusty out, yada, yada, yada. We took a little nap and then I got up and checked in at 9.30. It was the earliest they'd let me check in. And uh, actually they put me into a door right away. They got me unloaded within an hour and a half at a grocery warehouse. I know, I couldn't believe it. And there was no lumper. And I, I was parked again by uh, probably 11.30, uh, 11.15, something like that. Crazy. Because of course I needed them to take all night pretty much because I had no place else to go. Where are you going to go at 11, 30, 12 midnight to try to park? Well, uh, at least they were let me park there again and uh, there was no lumper and they got me done. So great. So I went and got parked again. While I was uh, waiting earlier before I took my little nap, uh, I cooked up some taquitos that I have in the freezer in the Ninja Foodie. Now, normally I'd always put them in the microwave, but they get kind of soft and squishy, you know. And I, I thought, you know, I've got the Ninja Foodie uh, that I mainly put, cook my pizzas in, and it's supposed to be like an air fryer kind of thing. Let's put the taquitos in there and see what happens with those. So they came out lovely, baby. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful thing, yeah. Ooh. Another thing I love about my uh, truck remodel being pretty much self-contained, where I've got the toilet, I've got the fridge, I've got the freezer, the microwave, the Ninja Foodie, maybe once a week at most is when I eat outside of the truck and eat the crap from the truck stops. Otherwise, I'm eating stuff I brought from the grocery store that my wife has cooked or I've cooked here uh, inside the truck. I eat so much better, so much better for me so much cheaper and it's a beautiful thing so if i'm stuck at a shipper or a receiver like i was at that grocery warehouse i got food in here you know rusty's got his food we we're covered baby and ever since i did the remodel it has made life on the road so much better okay so the next morning uh that was this morning which is uh friday the 28th uh was looking for loads looking for loads in all the wrong places looking for loads in old country song anyway um wasn't finding much uh from where i was finally came you know i was trying to find something maybe a little bit longer <clears throat> to run through the weekend so i could have a better paycheck next week but the longer stuff just wasn't paying so uh i started looking at only shorter stuff it was still going to pay fairly decently and i stumbled across this load lawnmowers that's what i have right now picked up in uh, mckenzie tennessee only about 45 miles away mdt uh they sell those i think at sam's club we had one at one point going to a lawnmower store in abington virginia uh, for a monday morning delivery uh, it's only 471 total miles deadhead included and it's paying 1200 bucks not bad so uh, that works uh, I'll do that and then we'll Monday morning see what we can find I have to try to get back towards Ohio if I can Mark's got the e-log for me that I have to get ready to put in here the big road uh, I've got to give him a whole bunch of paperwork and everything 
So if we can cross paths uh, Monday, Tuesday-ish in Ohio, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Well, I'm trying to get better at the whole booking my own loads thing. And uh, you know, I know some of you had said, my wife's even said, well, if Mark's getting 10%, which isn't much compared to what most companies charge, why are you booking your own loads? Well, I, I want to have some control. I want to learn the whole operation myself. And if I can try to always book a little bit of a head and know, and this, that's the whole theory is we're trying to run the least amount of miles for the most amount of money and be in the right areas. Right now, no area is very good, unfortunately. But there's more hazmat stuff in Ohio. So if I can get back that way, then maybe uh, I can make more money. So I'm still doing better than I'd probably say 90% out of the drivers out here because the rates are so bad. And yet still I'm pulling out two, 250 a mile easily on, on even stuff like this. This lawnmower load is light. We're not burning much fuel and it doesn't take long. So yeah, not a lot of miles over the weekend, but still good pay against the miles and maybe it sets us up for something better, what do you think? So after I got loaded, I just went 45 miles down the road here to I-40 to this uh, new loves they have here in Holiday, Tennessee. And um, took a quick little nap and I heard a knock on the door and it's uh, Gene, one of my subscribers who uh, tracked me down, saw the truck, I guess he was walking by and said, I recognize that truck. And so he wanted to meet Rusty and everything. So. We got to have a chance to, to sit and talk for a while. He got to meet Rusty. He sent a picture of a Rusty to his daughter, who uh, is a fan of Rusty. And many of you are fans of Rusty. And so we got to chat for a bit. So here's Gene. All right. Got a visitor here in the Clutch Trucker truck. This is Gene. Uh, he's uh, from the Buffalo area. Drives for Crete, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, he came knocking on the door. and. I always say, if the curtains are open, go ahead and knock. And I was up there taking a nap after I got parked here. We're at the Loves and uh, what is this, technically Dixon, I guess? Dixon, Holiday, I don't know. I Holiday, get, that's I get, it. I get four different names every time I Google it, so who knows? Yeah, so anyway, so uh, he'd been following me on the channel and wanted to say hi and meet Rusty. And so we went outside and let Rusty run around. He got to say hi to Rusty and everything. And had to take a picture of Rusty. What, what was that for your daughter? Yeah, my daughter wanted to see Rusty. <laughs> so there you go. And brought him inside so he could check out the remodel and uh, we just been sitting here shooting the shit for a while right oh yeah having a good old time so i want to make sure we got him in the in the next video so gene thanks so much for coming by and it's been great to uh, be talking with you not a problem nice meeting you always love uh, meeting people out here um like i always say if my curtains are open go ahead and knock on the door uh, i was taking a nap at the time actually but i hadn't closed the curtains but that's okay uh my fault if they're open, go ahead and knock. If they're not, please respect my privacy and, and let me sleep or something. But always happy to meet people on the road. And uh, you know what my truck looks like if you watch my videos for a while. And he got to come in and check out the remodel and everything. So that's always kind of fun. Well, thanks for tuning in for that. Not a lot of uh, content, just a quick update for you. And uh, at least you got to see Rusty again, right? And Rusty got to meet uh, Gene, nice enough guy. And he did not nip or bite or... <laughs> Rusty's very protective of the truck here. So when I have somebody in the truck, I have to hold him. Or Rusty's going to be like, who, who, who are you? Why are you in my space, baby? Why are you in my space? All right, there you go. We'll get your begging strip coming up. Okay, buddy? Sound good? He was sleeping. I had to wake him up so we could do this opening and close. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment and get your comments. As soon as I can, sometimes it takes a couple days because I'm a working truck driver. There's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, and as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. What has he got to live for? I'll just ask him. Ask him? How can you ask him? He's dead. Ah, he's not dead. He's just mostly dead. And mostly dead is not dead. All right, he's eyeing that strip. There it goes. Oh, come down here. Come on. There it goes, all right. Loves that begging strip. The thick cut, the thick cut uh, begging strips. I can't remember if that's uh, Junior or Connie who sent me the bag of the thick cut begging strips, but boy, Rusty loves them. They just take a little bit, he takes a little bit longer to eat them up. But of course, you know, he will happily put up with that to have his begging strips. 
right? Because he's a bag and strip dog. He's a bag and strip dog. Sometimes he eats too fast and he starts to cough. He's a bag and strip dog. Oh yeah, loving it. Happy dog, right Rusty? Oh yeah, buddy. Crack cocaine for a dog. <laughs> All right, y'all done there? All right, I think he got it. Let's get the happy dog look. Rusty, up here.